This is part three, setting up orthoplanes in 3D Studio Max. I'm Ben Mathis, and my website is www.poopinmymouth.com. Setting up planes of your ortho drawings or photos is a good practice for modeling. It provides a blueprint while you're working so you can focus on the details and be sure to maintain the look of your concept. So the first thing that I'm going to do is set up my layers. There's already an orthos layer in here, so I'm going to specify that it is the face orthos. Now I create a new one and rename it body orthos. Now I'm going to make a multi-sub material. Discard old material. Set the number to 3. Going to choose a bitmap that I've already created, the front image, and I'm going to make note of the image dimensions 484 by 800. Now I'm going to create a plane primitive and be sure to make sure that it has the same dimensions as the image, 800 by 484. So now when I apply the image, it's distortion free and it's at the size and proportions that I originally drew it. So now I've got my snaps, the angle set to 5 degree increments. So that now when I clone this, holding shift and rotating, it rotates to 90 degrees, so it's perfectly perpendicular. Now I'm going to assign the number 2 material, or I'm going to clone the number 1 material to the number 2, and then go inside, and for the bitmap, well first I'm going to rename the first one to front the second one to side and as the bitmap I'll choose the side ortho image note making note of its image dimensions so now you'll see that it's applied it's still at 800 by 484 so the image is skewed if I correct it change it to 2 now it's distortion free I'm going to convert the number the first plane to an edit poly, attach the second one, leave all the attach options default, clone the side to the third one, rename it back, for its image, choose the back image, it's material ID 3, so I'm going to take the, fr the front image plane, shift click to duplicate it to an element, use the flip command, and now I change it to material ID 3, and it'll have the back image on it. So now I've got my front, side, and back images all aligned in the viewport. Now I need to ensure that they're the correct size. So first I'm going to line them up in the viewport. And I'm going to make sure that it lines up with the head that I've already modeled. If you haven't already modeled anything, then you can just start with a good scale that you think will work for your character. Line up the side plane. I'm 
So now I want to make sure that when I'm modeling, the planes are not in the way of each other. So I'm going to actually move them slightly off center so that when I'm modeling, this doesn't actually intersect with my middle verts. I move the front one to the back and the back one to the front. And since this has back face culling turned on, when you're from the front, you won't be able to see the back plane, so none of them obscure each other. I'm going to say vertex channel display, so that now they're fully lit. You never see any shading on them. So I can still select everything, and that could get in the way of modeling. So I'm actually going to move them up really quickly, and then turn off the ability to select the uh, planes themselves. So I go into right click and go into their properties, uncheck show frozen and gray, and check freeze, select. So now when I drag and select, the only thing selectable is the head. Now you can see how easy to create body orthos, show hide, 